Thank you so much, Melissa, for being here today. I'm excited to hear about your story. And I'm also excited to have you here as a professional in accounting. It is a topic I talk about a lot and I can't wait to hear what you have to say. So let's jump right in with the most important question. Tell us about your entrepreneurial journey. What brought you to where you are today as a professional accountant? Yes, thank you so much, Kim, and thank you for uh, meeting with me today. So my journey actually began probably about 20 years ago. I've had the pleasure throughout my career to develop many unique skills in various finance, accounting, reporting, leadership positions. I truly love numbers and data and have a passion for helping people achieve their goals. It's extremely fulfilling for me. My love for numbers and analytics goes way back to my childhood where I was a math whiz and, and would play games, challenging myself to see how fast I could solve math problems. I loved watching those uh, human calculator videos and, and I was always in very intrigued by data and being able to analytically solve and understand the root cause of, of any problem. Um, really understanding the story behind the numbers. Yeah. I, I went to uh, school for accounting and, and got my bachelor's and master's degree. I also got my sales marketing and management degree and I am a certified internal auditor um, really to develop all those technical skills um, that are needed. That combination of education you know, was by design. It provides me a holistic view of accounting and finances to audit and technical kind of core aspect of what business owners need in a CFO, but also gives me that unique operations understanding with sales and marketing, customer relationships, management, um, and business law. I went to school for so long that uh, many people actually tease me that I could have been a, a doctor. Uh, but, you know, I really love to learn and grow myself personally and professionally and in turn use all that knowledge and skills to help others achieve their own personal, professional and business goals. And so that just really drove my need and desire and want to uh, start up ProWorks Accounting and Consulting. And it, it's just been really fun so far. And, you know, you're speaking my love language here. You know, the idea that... Um, you can take, you know, you have this tremendous experience and, you know, for some people that, that might scare them a bit, but yet you can bring this down and bring this to where it's at a very comfortable level for that brand new, fresh faced entrepreneur all the way, you know, as they grow their business, which I think is, is absolutely tremendous. But the other thing is you're doing business in the midst of your very real lives, which so many of our small businesses are. It's, it's just the reality. So, you know, you talked about being that geeky kid and it just made me smile inside and out because I was that geeky kid racing to see how fast I could calculate things too. You know, tell us a little bit more about Melissa, the woman, the, the woman behind the, the businesswoman. Yes. And, and, you know, and you're very right, Kim, everybody's trying to, you know, juggle a whole bunch of things and it seems like change and life moves faster today than it than it ever does and tomorrow it's probably going to even move faster um i am juggling as well you know i am a, a mom of three kids i um i spend a lot of time horseback riding i i enjoy the outdoors a, a lot um we get out as, as many times as we can but you know i've got even though i have this extreme passion for numbers and analytics and accounting you're taking you know your whole left side of your brain i think um i actually worked for many many years um, with a good friend of mine in interior design and decorating and that's a tremendous amount of fun for me as well and i and taking that whole kind of creative and and innovative approach to life and and seeing all that so I got my my technical side and I got my creative side and and it really does um, help kind of pro provide a dynamic holistic view of skills that I that I can utilize to help people in in so many ways I love that it took me a long time in my own business to realize that I needed to play to my strengths that I needed to do what I was really good at. I hired uh, my daughter to come on board in marketing and management. Yes, I can do marketing and management, but I, it wasn't my, my strength or my highest power. So you hit on some really key things. And I think, you know, this next question uh, is almost already been answered, but 
you know, in a, in just a, a short few words, uh, tell us what sets you apart from other accountants. What what is that that one thing that really makes you different? Yeah, great question, Kim. I think there's just a lot of things that really set me apart from other accountants. I've actually been told before that I that uh, I don't look like the normal accountant or I, or I don't meet the definition of a normal accountant. So I'm not sure, you know, what that definition is, but I really enjoy people and I enjoy listening to people and understanding what what their challenges are and what their struggles are and where they really need where they need help. Um, and then being able to take my skills, my experiences, my knowledge, and, you know, provide advice and assistance and help. Um, you know, I just, I thrive off helping people and seeing people be successful. I would rather myself be unsuccessful if it meant that you could be successful. And that's oh, just, I, I love that, Melissa. Yeah, there is some stereotypes around accountants. And I'll just say you probably just don't look like that stereotypical backroom accountant, but you're a front room accountant. In other words, you're out there as a partner. You've said it a number of times. This is about a partner relationship. And I can't stress how important that is for everyone to really find that accountant that can truly act in a partnership relationship because just getting your taxes done once a year, that's that's just like yeah it's the rest of it's the rest of the accounting that matters and so oftentimes it's about putting systems together and you know if you're at a startup level maybe there's one way they can get started quick ways they can get started and then there's systems as we go do you have some recommendations that you can share with people about you know that let's start with the startup financial system i'm just brand new coming out of the gate small small business one person show what would you recommend for them the great thing about this kind of tech savvy world that we live in um, is there are endless software solutions available today it's a great thing but it can also be extremely overwhelming for someone who's never implemented a new system or experienced a vendor selection process but you know you can start even with if you're a small Excel spreadsheet and start tracking your, your money in and your money out. Um, and then there's, there's several online platforms available now today too. It's just kind of blown up in that space, but um, you know, depending on the size and complexity of the organization, there's systems that will pretty much fit any, any need. It's just a matter of finding what that need is and understanding. And, you know, I partner with people all the time to kind of just go through that thought process and talk it through and, and kind of provide some thought provoking questions. You know, I, I just, overall, I'd say be patient, um, do some research and, and it, you know, I certainly love helping people kind of think through that stuff. It's, it's fun. It's, it's really fun to see what's out there and what's available and how you can how you can really add efficiency to what you're doing. In my coaching practice, I offer a 30 minute discovery call. Do you offer something like that where somebody can just chat with you for a few minutes and you can you can help them see if not only if you're a fit, but give them some things to think about? Oh yes, absolutely. I love talking with people and I love understanding their journey and what it is they're trying to do. So yes, absolutely. Okay. That's an awesome place to start because I love it that I could get to talk to you before I even decide to engage you and your services with ProWorks. What is the number one thing you'd tell people to look for or to do when yes. you're serving someone? Yeah, for sure, Kim. You know, that's really a critical decision. You know, you need somebody that you can trust. It's a partnership. It's a long-term partnership. When you're in the finance role as myself, the numbers tell a lot. And, and so you need somebody that not only understands what the information is telling them, but you need somebody that you can talk to and have a conversation with and it may not always be the news that you want to hear if you you know if you're having cash flow issues um, but you need to you need to have an accountant business partner that no matter what they're going to be transparent with you and they're going to provide real advice and help and be there for you 
that would be, I guess, my number one thing is, is trust. You need to be able to trust and, you know, have open communication. And of course, you're going to need the technical knowledge, but. <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean, the way we learn to trust people is by getting to know them. So here again, I like the fact that you're open to a conversation with potential new clients so that you can, number one, get to know each other and you're able to work better with them at that point. And that's, that is what I would recommend as a business coach to all people is really to interview their potential vendors, their potential accountant. It doesn't matter who it is, you know, get your referrals, you know, do your background research, but then interview them. So Melissa, give us that one big ninja tip. And this is a huge one from my book that everybody needs to know about engaging an accountant, a bookkeeper, anybody working with their numbers. Yeah, yeah, yes. Great question, Kim. Make sure that you have a contract. Make sure that you understand what it is that you are hiring the person for and make sure it's in writing. Um, kind of protect yourself and protect the engagement. Thank you. Do not engage services from anyone without a contract. And Melissa, thank you for saying that. It, it is golden. Um, if someone is interested in doing business with ProWorks, with Melissa Anderson, uh, how can they get more information about you? I've got uh, a website. It's called ProWorksAccountingAndConsulting.com. And the works is with an X instead of a K. Mm -hmm. um, and you can feel free to call me at 1-855-ProWorks anytime. And I'd be happy to chat. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I look forward to it. And you know, this is an endless conversation. Doing your business by the numbers is so important. It's how I do my coaching. You know, we, we click uh, not only because I did interior design too, and I was a numbers geek, but because you really do believe in what you do and helping people do their business, make their decisions by the numbers. So if you're willing, I'm going to have you come back. We want to, I want to talk about how people can use their income statement to make some decisions, what they can, how to read their income statement. Yes, Kim, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> okay, thank you again. Thank you.